All right, in this video, we're going to talk about another appraisal technique called the gross income multiplier or gross rent multiplier technique. Let's take a look at a question. Here it says a seller is listing their duplex for $193,000. The annual rent for both units is $28,800. If I was doing this question, I would be very careful to see whether it said for both units or each unit. If it said each unit, then you would have to remember to double it in order to answer the question. Here it says both units, so we'll leave it the same. The question is, what is the value of the duplex using the gross income multiplier method based on the following recent sales in the immediate area? Let's take a look at some sales that have taken place. In this case, we have property number one sold for $187,000, and its rent was $26,400. Property two sold for two hundred nine dollars with an annual rent of $30,960. And property three is sold for $179 with an annual rent of $24,960. Well, what does this mean? When we divide the sales price by the annual rent, that tells us that this unit sold, or this property sold, for 7.08 times its annual rent. If we do that for each of these properties, we will get a gross income multiplier or a multiplier for each of those sales. We then add those together, we get 21, divide by three, and we can say that the gross income multiplier for this area on average is seven. Now the question here is, what is the value of the duplex? Well, if the rent for the duplex is 28.8 and the multiplier that's happening in the area or occurring in the area is seven, if we just simply multiply those two numbers together, we'll get a good idea of what this property should sell for. Let me just remove this so you can see it a little better. Seven is the GIM times 28.8 equals $201,600 for an estimate of the value of that property. One more thing I wanted to leave you with on the GIM or GRM technique. If you look at this question, the multiplier was seven. That's a fairly low number, and what that means is that the property is going to sell for seven times its annual income or annual rent. That's typically how a GIM or gross income multiplier is used. Normally, the income multiplier will be annual. Normally, if you've got a higher number, then it would be based upon the monthly rent. In other words, how many times the monthly rent did the property sell for, obviously that number is going to be higher. That's typically referred to as a GRM or gross rent multiplier. If you see a number up in the 100 range, 80, 110, something like that, that's going to be based upon monthly rent. There's no way a property is ever going to sell for 80 or 100 times its annual rent. Also, the flip side of that is it's very unrealistic that it would only sell for seven or eight times its monthly rent.